Hello everybody, I'm Avery Harris. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, what I got for you is how to upload images and videos to Instagram from your computer. I actually got two different methods for you. So in case one don't work anymore, you still can use the other one. So the last thing I wanna actually say before I get started is as always, if you like the video, make sure to subscribe. Okay, so the first method I got for you is actually from Instagram itself. It's called Instagram Creator Studio. Not only do you have the option to upload images and videos from here, but you can also check out your analytics schedule, when you want your posts to actually post and other things of that nature. So I would suggest you check it out. You do have to have either a creator account or a business account, but it does tell you exactly what you need to do in order to switch your personal account to one of those two. The link to this is business facebook.com slash creator studio and i'll leave the link to this as a pinned comment facebook has its own creator studio and if you want to switch between the two all you have to do is click on either one of the two icons that are at the top as of right now i'm on instagram creator studio and what i'm going to do is just go over to the top left and click on create post you'll see that a new window pops up for me, in which case I can go ahead and start creating my new post. I'll go ahead and add some content. And you can see I got the option, I can add something from my PC or I can add something from Facebook, in which case I'm just gonna add something from my PC. This case is gonna be a video. After this pops up, I have the option to add a caption to it, a thumbnail to it, or whether I want this to upload to Facebook as well. And at the bottom right, you can see that there's publish, but right beside it is an arrow, in which case I can open up that arrow and I can actually schedule this to post at a specific date, or I can save it as a draft if I want to. After I hit publish, it'll take a couple of minutes for it to refresh, but after it refreshes, you'll see that the new post will be up there right beside all my other posts. I decided to show off Instagram Creator Studio first because I felt like most of you would rather stick to Instagram, the actual Instagram company, before you decide to go to a third party, which, you know, makes sense. But I do think that this other method I got for you is, I mean, it has a couple different features that you might find interesting. So the last method I got for you is a Chrome extension, which is called Insist. With Insist, you'll essentially be able to use Instagram on your PC like you would on your phone. So all you would need to do is download it. And after you download it, you will go to Instagram. And then after you sign in, you should see Insist on the bottom right of your computer, in which case you can open it up from there. If for some reason you don't see it there, you should be able to type in app.insist.com and that should open up the Chrome extension for you. So from here, you will use Insist just like you would the old version of Instagram. Once again, I have already uploaded a video and a regular image post on Instagram using Insist. If you wanted to use some of the extra features that they got, you would have to switch to a business account, but on this, I actually just use a personal account and it was perfectly fine for me to go ahead and upload things from here. Even with that being said though, I was still able to use some of the features up here, like hashtag assistant, in which case I was able to use some of the hashtags that they suggested to me, which I found to be pretty helpful. Has a couple of other features in here, like you can use light or dark mode. They also grade people's accounts on whether they think they're active or not and other things of that nature. So yeah, at the end of the day, I think this is an interesting app to use, especially if you don't want to switch over from a personal account yet. So if both won't work for you, then great. If only one of them worked for you, that's still great because you still got what you came for. If it didn't work, then let me know in the comment section and I'll have to make another one of these at whatever point in time that is. But hopefully this information was useful to you. And if it was, why don't you go ahead, like, subscribe, share with a friend, click the bell notification so you get notified when new videos come out from me. I make new videos every week. Last but not least, I have a question for you, which is what do you do on Instagram? Let me know that in the comment section because I might end up checking you out. And as always, thanks for watching.